All right, y'all. I told you I was just gonna get in front of a camera and start filming. This is me, makeupless, and we're gonna do um a get ready with me, and I guess a uh, a little chit chat. If you hear like a humming sound in the back, I have my air conditioning on because spring said, "Girl, that's my time." <laughs> And summer has shown up in New York. It's just been like 80 degrees, which is fine. But also, I just don't like heat. So, I'll be hot. So, my AC is on. So, if you hear that, I apologize. Hopefully, this audio is great because I am definitely filming it from my phone. Okay. So, we're just going to get started. This is not a tutorial of any kind. So, please don't be like, oh my God, Jen, you, did, you was too fast. You didn't break it down. I'm just getting ready. Right now, I started off with, um, I put on my, I have the Ordinary 100% Organic Cold Press Rose Hip Seed Oil. It's really a great moisturizer for me. And for some reason, like, just very not like me, I've been getting dry, <laughs> I've been getting dry skin right here for some reason. And like right here, which is so weird, but. So yeah, I just had to put that on as my starting thing. Um, please don't look at me for the answers because I probably don't have them. Cause I know people are gonna be like, why are you putting them before you put your makeup on? I need a good moisturizer. If I don't, my face turns to a grease trap. By the way, we're starting off with the Fenty Beauty um, Primer. Um, my girl Rihanna out here. With her, she has, I think she's dropping her lingerie line tomorrow? Or tomorrow, I think? Um, I signed up for it because, girl, I give Robin all my coins. But, um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to purchase anything off of there because I am a abundantly blessed woman. And I don't think she goes up that high. I know you guys are going to say, she said, you know, doing plus size and everything. I know. But, abundantly blessed so i get my bras from lane bryant i mean it's not bad selection it is costing me an arm and a leg to get a bra don't get me wrong but um i really doubt that rihanna is going to go up that high but if she does and if they cute and reasonably priced she on it she got it um i'm going to do a little and i mean a little color correcting don't judge me on my la girl thing i have to get all of my money's worth even though this is probably a dollar but i'm not about to buy a new tube if there's still stuff in here like why i have um hyper ugh, high pigmentation underneath my eyes and um above my lip i also have it on my neck so i put a little bit of a translucent powder on that sometimes so if you're wondering um people do know me real life like hi <laughs> your neck looks a regular color it's like yeah i correct i correct that too and i add a little bit of a just powder on it so so yeah robin um yeah that it looks cool i know she's been dropping a couple like promo videos and stuff featuring different girls featuring different cool girls and whatnot and it looks amazing i'm so proud of her this empire that she's building y'all read that um vogue article queen actual queen i i remember that whole situation happening with her and drake and i was just like this is so kind of uncomfortable because it's just like it was an award show for her um it was an award for her and he was just like going on and on about how he when he first met her and how he felt about her and i'm like that's cute that's all we're here for we don't care about your feelings about rihanna talk about rihanna rihanna's the one that's getting the award um fancy beauty obviously uh foundation my color is 450 i've tried one before I've tried 440 before. 440 is too light. I feel 440 would be a great concealer kind of a thing, but I can't do it. So I like 450. Honestly, I think it's my color. Let's hope that it shows up really well on camera. But um, but yeah, I remember when all that happened. And by the way, I do it like this. I know folks like put it on. Um, do I put it on a 
little platter or put it on their beauty blender. I don't do that. But I, what I do is put it on my face. I feel like if I put it on something else, it wastes product and I'm frugal and I'm not about to waste product like that. So I put it right on my face. I clean the nozzle and everything. I have like my spray bottle here that I clean my nozzle with, but that's how I put on my foundation. Anyway, when Drake did all that mess up the VMAs and stuff, I totally understand like the cringe of it. I mean, I don't, I, I don't know anybody who's just like in love with um, being praised like publicly all the time. It makes me, I freak out. I, I cringe if folks like give me compliments and stuff. I'm like, stop it. And imagine somebody doing it on a stage that big and going on for a while you know so i got it but she says she and drake ain't even friends no more which doesn't surprise me i feel like dudes like drake would be like <laughs> would try to get something from you and they realize that whatever you know macking trick they use with other girls not working on you they they quit that would not surprise me. And I, I I know guys like that who are just like, they're pulling all the stops. They probably pulled on some other girl before. And it's like, you're not responding. And they're just, it goes them for a loop. And don't even try no more. See, this is, like, these are very, very small pumps. I'm not even like pushing all the way down. I'm pushing just a little bit so I get resistance. So it's not, you don't need a lot whatsoever to, um, Get the coverage that you need. I mean, for me, I have a lot of, I don't know if y'all saw before I put makeup on, I have a lot of um, dark spots. And I feel that it covers it pretty well. I think so, if you ask me. Um, if I look weird, it's because I'm looking in my mirror. My mirror is literally right behind you, right behind the camera. You, you, we're here. We chit chatting, we family. Um, so yeah, I was, I was reading the article and I was just like, bad bitch bad gal um <laughs> i am concealing with pro longwear concealer by mac in the color nc50 i have another one in oh never mind they're both nc50 my bad this is like at the very bottom for some reason this pump is weird like it'll stop pumping it'll be like oh you know the product is empty but there's still all of this at the very bottom as you can see I like to use all my products until they're empty. So until I start making big bucks where I can like be like Patricia and like, oh my god, it's one thousand dollars just before. Until that time comes, God willing, we gonna do it like this. Um, so yeah, I'm excited for her um, lingerie line. I'm sure it's going to be fire, as most of everything she does. The only thing is I can't get behind her um, her Puma collection. It looks cool. It does. That's one thing I kind of mentioned on Twitter the other day. And I was like, we really talk about how nothing is cool until Rihanna wears it. But have we ever thought that maybe it's only Rihanna that can wear it? Like, she wears the coolest stuff. And it looks so great on her. Like, oh my god. Like, that ski mask it looks like it's a gucci ski mask she wore in coachella come on it looks amazing i didn't like who knew could it's not gonna make a ski mask look so cool or they're like those super high i forgot what designer they were but they were these ridiculously high-waisted um boots almost um reminiscent of her manolo blonde collection boots and they were in these like um orange safety cone orange color and she wore them i think she performed like work with, or with uh, drake or something like that in those boots and i thought that was the it would look it looked so great and i feel like yes she made those boots look super cool i feel like everybody else who wore those boots looked a hot ass mess so one of the things where it's like yeah we say it's not cool till rihanna wears it but maybe she's like the only person who can wear things like that you know mm. so yeah when it comes to her puma collection it's really cool stuff she had like a 
$200 do-rag on there and stuff. And don't get me wrong, I'm sure Rihanna will look amazing. A $200 do-rag. Jennifer, ain't got time for that. Um, so yeah, I just use a flat brush to spread out my, um, uh, this is how I wet my, my uh, beauty blender. I use water and stuff. If you go and judge me in the comments, make sure you use capital letters. Um, so I use the flat brush to kind of blend it all out. Then I use my um, beauty blender and my translucent powder by Laura Messier. This stuff is so expensive, bro. It's a lot in here, don't get me wrong. I have the deep, the medium deep one. It's a lot in here. Bruh, it's expensive. AF. Sometimes when I'm putting, when I'm like putting it, cause I use the cap to kind of um to get some out. I'm always like super careful to not go too far with it, cause makeup. By the way, I'm gonna use a smaller mirror. I feel like everybody uses a smaller mirror with their bigger mirror when they're doing precise stuff. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm a fan of everything she does. Just the Puma collection ain't my ministry. If you know what I'm saying. Um. Oh yeah. Oh, speaking of articles and interviews, did y'all see that mess with DJ Khaled and then folks at the that radio show that I don't like? I don't like the Breakfast Club. I don't like anybody on the Breakfast Club. Lenard, Angela, that one light skin man. I don't like any of them people. But I saw a clip of DJ Khaled at the Breakfast Club, and he's talking about. You know, he loves his wife and all of that and all that great stuff, but he doesn't go downtown on her. Y'all you, you know what go downtown means. Um, but he doesn't go downtown on her. He doesn't like it. He's never liked it. And then, you know, he's like, yeah, you know, she's my queen and I show my appreciation for her as my queen was like buying her things and taking her to dinner and getting her this big house. Fine, whatever. And... Angela, I think Angela asks him, like, okay, but did she go down on you? And he's like, well, you know, but yeah, that's, you know, I'm the king. It's different rules for men. I'm just like, oh, my God. Listen, what's DJ Khaled's wife's name? It's like Angela? No. I think it's like Nicole or something. Nicole, honey, sweetie, I am so sorry because let me tell you something. I couldn't do it. Imagine you are married to a man, and not only does he not go down on this man does not go down on you and tells everybody. I don't understand. I don't understand guys like ugh, fascination with embarrassing women in public. I don't see like different posts on the internet. And it's like, um, oh, this is my girl. You know, I've done her wrong for so many years and stuff. I got her best friend pregnant and junk. Oh, by the way, I'm just, I'm just cutting. I'm uh, cutting my face. Uh, with translucent powder for my contour. I got her best friend pregnant and stuff. I cheated on her for years. But now we getting married. Like, why are you telling everybody my business? Damn. Stop putting my L's in public. Let me take my shit in private. Fine. Now I look dumb because you don't told everybody that you don't go down on me. I can't even. Like, what? I can't. Like, oh, I don't even understand why one would even want to tell the world that and i just feel like there's only men who do that men love talking about you know i've worked my wife like a workhorse and and you know she happened to pass off from exhaustion on the couch and now i just really appreciate her i'm just like why are you telling everybody Shh. damn why can't why you get you just run your mouth but i have no idea how the interview even got to that process i don't but I do know that it was very uncomfortable to watch. And now I understand why his wife is always irritated in the videos. She looks like she's over him. Like, I feel like Dita Kelly is, like, probably a character and always on at all times. By the way, I'm contouring my face with Espresso by Fenty Beauty. Fenty Beauty, sponsor me because, bruh, I'm out here. Um, I feel like Dita Kelly is probably, like, super on when he's at home. And Nicole be like, I, what you, what you, why, why are you saying fan love when you're home? Like, she be over it, I can tell. By the way, ignore this, like, I don't know if you can see, I have a pimple right here. Oh, it's really pissing me off. I'm hoping my wig will cover it. And um, that won't be a problem. So yeah, I was, I was just looking at the video, I'm just like, and not to mention, like, it's 2018. 
and there are still grown like I used to hear that when I was in high school like high school dudes would be like mm, I ain't put my mouth on you like that you know what I'm saying and it was like fine some girls tolerate that life some girls did not I need everybody to be the girls I don't like you know I don't want blame I don't want to like you know blame nobody or put um put like put shame on anyone but it's just like bro y'all are out here encouraging or accepting dudes to like not go down on you so they'll come on the radio station and be like yeah my whole wife <laughs> my wife is okay with me not bruh i can't that would be a whole different conversation tbh i don't know how people do that speaking of wife i'm really not understanding like folks very blind support of Kanye and his antics mind you a lot, of people, a lot of people that I know who are not supporting him and that's great that common sense is still out here and junk but there are a, an alarming amount of people who still support him like in his ridiculous comments including his wife which you know fine that's that's your husband and you and you want to support him and everything that he does and that's great but if my husband was on the internet talking about he's supporting this bigot who clearly does not like women who clearly does not like um immigrants me being both of those things and you're on the internet talking about yeah i support that i support that man that man's a free thinker what it's not illegal to be a free thinker you know free think all you want there are people out, there are people in this world who find beyonce to be overrated you know, it's not a, it's not a criminal offense. It's 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 weird, and you have really bad taste. But no one's gonna jail you for that. Live your life. You, and there are people who don't who think Beyonce is overrated, and then get on the internet and tell everybody that Beyonce is overrated. You know, we are all free to think the most ridiculous thoughts that we can think. But also, it's good to call out something. But it's absolutely. So for Kim to support her husband, I'm just like, I get it. That's your husband and you want to support everything he does. Good for you. But at the same time, I am I think I would love you enough to call you out when you're being a complete idiot. By the way, I am, I put cream contour. And now I am setting that with powder contour with MAC Studio Fix in NW58. It's like a chocolatey, chocolatey color. Um, so yeah, it's like, I get it. You want support? I support, you know, I'll support you too, honestly. And there are things with, like, you know, when I get married, my husband's out here wilding or whatever. I will definitely, I wouldn't embarrass him in public. I'd pull him aside and be like, bet. Bet. I need you to open a book. I need you to read something. Um, Google, thankfully, is still free. Come on, babe. I mean, she didn't say anything about his recent comments about slavery being a fucking 30-day trial that we all agreed to continue paying like i don't know and uh weird i guess like ti was also on some radio show talking about like he didn't um kind of didn't even know about the travel ban and stuff i'm just like uh, people like not even kind of just people are so quick to open their mouths and speak on things that they have no idea what it's about like I am never gonna get on a platform and talk candidly about Bitcoin. Why? I don't know ish about Bitcoin. I will never get on the internet and put my brushes away by the way. I will never get on the internet and talk freely about <sighs> alpaca farming. Why? Because I don't know ish about alpaca farming. So why do people get on the internet and just talk with authority and, you know, audacity? Like, yes, I know what I'm talking about. And then when people, you know, hit you with straight facts, it's like, oh, I didn't know that one. Why are you open your mouth then? Being quiet is also free. Since you're worried about thinking, yes, being quiet is also very much free. I'm doing my eyebrows now. I'm not one of those crazy people who do their eyebrows first. I don't know how y'all do that. That's weird. That's weird. Um, don't judge me. I love very dark eyebrows because I love dark everything, like my soul. But, so I use, 
I know someone in the comments gonna be like, what the fuck, Jen? I use um, a liquid eyeliner to kind of get my shape. It be loud in the hallway. I use a liquid liner to kind of get the shape that I want. Oh, y'all can't even see. Mm, whatever, y'all can't see. Fun tutorial. But to get the shape that I want, and then I fill it in with um, with eyebrow gel. So the funny thing about this is that I used to just um, do my eyebrows with um, MAC Stud, if I'm not mistaken. And that was fine. But then, I don't know what happened. I think I was just like broke. Very much big facts. And I just ended up getting an e.l.f. liquid liner. And I was like, what, five bucks? I got it in like brown. I was like, oh, this, this, this does the trick. Let me see if I can focus this a bit better. That might have worked. I don't know. Um, So I was like, this is not that bad. And this is, you know, giving me a darker color than I want and the, and the elf brown or the whatever is a lot more darker than their other brown products so I ended up just doing it like this from that point forward even when I started making like more money and I was like oh I can go and buy MAC I was like why would I do that so I did it anyway blind support I just that's on my cup of tea I, and it's not like I don't love you or anything. I don't care about you because I don't support you. But I'm going to support things that also align with my morals and the way I view life. And if I think that you're being wrong or I think that you're being hateful, I also love you enough to tell you that. That's just me being factual. And apparently, like, people have been coming to him because he's been posting every goddamn text he gets from everybody else. Hence why can't text folks no more but like John Legend really broke it down for Kanye in a really eloquent short sweet text and like Kanye's reply was you're trying to manipulate me by using my fans and you're attacking my boy but that's why fans use his, with his last best album <laughs> fight me I don't care fantasy was classic it was still is a classic honestly that's my um that's like my top two or top one, depending on when you ask me. I, I oh, I um, I go between late registration and fantasy, when it's coming to top one and top two, depending on my mood that day. Like today, fantasy number one, and late registration, late, registra late registration is number um two. So it really is depending on my mood that day. But fantasy was a great album and. Probably his last one. I will say his comments have sparked like the most funniest memes on Twitter. Like honestly, Twitter should not be free. Does it? Don't charge us. But it's hilarious. Like the creativity of our people. God, we are so fucking funny. I cannot believe it. Um, yeah, there was like one about you know, uh, opting out of slavery <laughs> and stuff, or like trying to pick cotton and masses. Uh, Telling you to pick fast and you're like, well then do it yourself then. That's what I thought. <laughs> Twitter's funny. Twitter's hilarious. Um, my mom follows me on Twitter. I had to like, because I have access to her account. <laughs> She's probably going to watch this right now and be like, how do I change? I went to her account and I muted myself on her account. So I'm not blocked, but I muted myself because I'm crass and I don't my mother love her to pieces but I just don't need her seeing me talk like that or be like that same thing with my sister I don't think I follow my sister I think she's like blocked or whatever the only person I probably follow from my family that's okay is my brother because he's like 20 years old it's okay no problem with him following me but I'm just I'm a very different person on different they have slam doors all over this building. I'm a different person depending on the platform, honestly. So everything's used to build a different kind of, a different side of me that I guess you wouldn't see. Which is why I don't, I wouldn't tell you to, oh, best to follow me on this and not on that. Follow me on everything. You never, I'm a mixed bag. You never know what you're going to get. Um, I brought some good. I'm going to clean it up with a little bit of a... Of the fan tube is gonna dip. Ooh, 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 it needs to come up very small. Oh crap, that I nailed. 
everything. It's only the production here. I'm gonna clean it up with an angled brush and some Fenty uh, foundation underneath. I have like dark, for some reason, dark lids. Not like dark, they're black. Just a lot of a deeper color of brown. That's it. So we'll clean it up with this and then we should be good to start putting on um, foundation. But yeah, I'm a different person depending on the platform and stuff. And I just don't need my siblings or family knowing everything, you know? But yeah, think of knowing everything. Um, my sister called me today. And if you follow my mom on YouTube, then you know my sister is um, Vanessa. She's like, how old is Vanessa? She's 15? 14. Oh, God. She's 14. She'll be 15 in November. Um, and she had like an assignment, I guess, with, at school about sexual education and relationships and abstinence. And I guess the assignment called for her to talk to my parents. Daddy was like, mm -mm. you should call your sister. <laughs> Which is terrible because a few of the questions are really interesting. They were kind of like, you know, um, how were you taught sex ed? And what did your parents tell you about relationships and stuff? Um, oh, forgive me. Uh, my allergies are out the window. I didn't get a chance to really, um, to, to ease into allergy season. It just was like, we here, bitch. Like, let's go. Um, so I have a little bit of the, like, stuffy nose right now. Anyway, there were really great questions. Questions I wish I got when I was in high school. Kind of like, you know, how was the talk? Or, like, you know, your high school or college relationships. What did you learn from them? What is something that you wish you knew before you started um, dating? in high school or college and I was like oh wow that's like a really great question it really kind of brought some things out of me because I wish I knew a lot of things before I started dating oh I don't I regret nothing get long get me wrong I have no regrets but if I could go back and just kind of change tweak a couple of things I, oh, I would by the way I'm just putting a little bit of elf primer on my lid I like it I know that I read a cup of tea other people just put concealer I don't get that I think I have like a tutorial vid here where I did the concealer thing and it not ruined but it really muddled my colors after that and I was just like what is this the elf eyelid primer is good to me because it oh it records it records wow it um it covers uh my eyelid pretty pretty well by the way so for our eyes today we're using um the tarte pretty paint box collection just like their holiday collection from like a year ago i think or like was it last year it might have been 2016 maybe but my best friend bought this for me for christmas and it's um a bulky packaging for not much um, going on but yeah we're going for this today and so I'm thinking I'm going with um blah, 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 blah. I think I'm gonna go with this line right here they're kind of like set up where everything's kind of a quad of its own I think I'm gonna go with this line right here it's you know my go-to it's not too crazy it's not crazy safe either but it's my hair it's a lot so I just want to keep it kind of muted on everything else anyway she's asking me these questions and they're all like taking me back to another place like wow um that was my life for quite some time where I'm dating this guy and I you know loved him well I thought I did and I was you know doing so many things outside of my comfort zone to make sure that he was comfortable and everything so it's interesting to kind of pass on down that wisdom to my sister don't get me wrong I don't need her dating nobody right now um I did I am gonna advocate for her to start dating I mean like I was 16 it's 2014 right now she's a freshman in high school she ain't gotta worry about them little negroes on her uh on her on her tip but 
I was just it was a great play it was a great moment to kind of revisit things and like it was a question where did she asked where she was like what's something, what's something that you wish your parents taught you before you started dating and um immediately I wish I had learned I learned the hard way I wish I had learned you know without pain that words are nothing without actions that back them up and I think for me that was a hard lesson because as someone who is creative as someone who writes I everything I'm saying everything that I write is me it's naturally how I feel I never say I never say anything oh goodness I never say anything just for saying it's sick. I'm not saying stuff just to kind of fill the air. Whenever I've expressed something, it's because that's how I really feel. That's, that's, it's almost, please look at your car. There's a car alarm outside and it's really bothering me. Talk over it. Anyway, for me to talk about my feelings or whatever, it's basically the same thing as me expressing myself or me expressing how I feel about you. It's my actions and my words are not too far apart. Because as a writer, as somebody who really puts themselves to their work, my words ain't no joke. I'm not saying it for, I'm not saying it for saying it's sake. And I came across so many people that were the complete opposite. Who were just like, yeah, this sounds good. I feel like this is what you're supposed to say to a girl. So I'm going to say it. But it wasn't how they naturally felt. It wasn't a true depiction of their actions. Their actions did not match their words whatsoever. Um, and it was really hard for me to put two and two together with that. Because it was like, yeah, he's not taking the extra step to be romantic. Yeah, he's not, you know, trying to make us official. Yeah, he's not, you know, being affectionate and doing all the things that he said he'd do. But he told me he cares about me. He told me he loves me. That must be true. You know? Also just like uh, also just like understanding other people's like love language is not a thing that I even thought about when I was, you know, in high school and in college and stuff. So things that I was told was too much or things that I was told was like, you know, dramatic or something. I used to get that a lot. Like you're being dramatic, you're being aggressive. And I assumed that I was. And it's just like, no, people have different type of love, love languages and how they like to express themselves. And yours is not wrong. Yours is not to anything. Yours is just different. I wish someone had told me all that when I was younger. I feel like I didn't get that lesson. And I just, I spent a lot of time beating myself up, trying to change what was hot, fine there's nothing wrong with me I didn't need to change at all but I felt that I had to because I was getting complaints people were not vibing with me folks were not seeing me for who I was so I thought that I had to change myself and that this was never it shouldn't have never been the case and I didn't start to learn to disagree with what I saw or agree with what I saw in the mirror agree with what I wanted you know, demand it until my the beginning of my twenties, to be honest. And I would hate for my sister to to reach twenty two and just now get that lesson. So, um, granted, my parents are from a different era. Um, the way they dated in Nigeria compared to how I date now in this era here in America, it's so different. It's light years different. So. For that, I have no, I have no qualms with my mother. I have no qualms with my father. It's just very different. So to get the chance to kind of pass on that information, that lesson to my sister, it was, it was pretty dope. I mean, I still want my parents to step in and say something, but I get it. They don't really know how. I, I didn't get the talk when I was younger. The talk was don't get pregnant. Don't, don't, don't talk to any boys. Go to school and come home. Um, all the guys I dated were all in secret. <laughs> I just want my, my parents nothing. But, um, you know, I don't want that for my sister. So, to be able to kind of step in and start that dialogue and that relationship when it comes to, uh, to sex and 
updating, I'm I'm ready. I'm I'm not freaking out. Like I'm sure you know anybody else would like, oh my god, <sighs> they're, they're getting older, they're getting older. They're, you know, I'm I'm not freaking out at all. I'm ready. Let's let's start. Let's do it. Um, okay, I'm just gonna add a little like a little a little sparkle to my inner corner. I was like the biggest culprit of doing stuff like this when I was in um, college. I would just like put the most craziest colors in my inner corner just to be different. I didn't even think that was like a, um, a makeup like look. I just was like, oh, make my eyes pop. A little sparkle in the inner corner. And they would be like very, very harsh colors. Like... <laughs> My makeup when I was in college, I used to think was 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 popping. I I thought makeup was so good that I would do other people's makeup, and I just thought that it was like I was like I was talented. We're talking about yes, Michelle Fon who. <laughs> and when I look back at photos and look back now, I'm just like wow. I think there was a part a portion of my life where I thought eyebrows were optional. <laughs> I really thought like yeah, doing your eyebrows, you don't gotta do it if you want to. Imagine a time. Um, yeah, this is not bad. It's not too. I didn't want it to be too dramatic, and it's not. This is a, a weird palette. It's like it's pigmented, but a few like it's pigmented, but a few of the colors have to be built up. Not every color. Um, it's weird, but yeah, this is a. This will work. So yeah, sex talk, sex talk with my 14 year old sister, um, I, I didn't freak out like I thought I would. Um, I didn't think, uh, I didn't lose myself for a second. My parents on the other hand were like, call your sister, call your sister. We are 12 years apart, give or take. So me stepping in for her is not a crazy no, should I do it quite often? And I do it because I want to. I love her. I can't care. Ooh. Those who have allergies, y'all already know. Um, my eye is like definitely starting to water. Oh, I hate. Like, I hate this time of year. Like, I really do. It starts to get better around like July and stuff. Oh my god, but I hate some of year. I hate it. It's always something. I wake up with always something. You see? I'm either super stuffy when I wake up or my eyes are like super puffy and itchy when I wake up. Sometimes I get up with like hives out of nowhere. And the thing is, is I prepare myself. Like when it hits like March, I start doing like a deep spring cleaning. I start wiping down my fans and making sure I don't dust anywhere and still it's like, I don't know, they lie and wait until it's warm enough to step in. All right, let's get really quiet. I gotta do my eyeliner and we all know we can't talk while we do that. Don't you hate when you like are doing your liner and then you realize like they're not matching. So then you start trying to fix it and then it starts to get worse if you try to fix it and you don't know what to do and you're not ready to start over, but it's not, clearly it's not matching. That's me right now. Oh. Not the best, but it'll do. We'll do a little under eye, under eye line liner, whatever. You know what I mean. I used to do this like in the car when I went. When I was in college. I would like do my makeup halfway at home and do the rest while I was driving. Please don't follow in my footsteps. It's a it's a blessing that I'm here. Um. But I would just do it, and I would, it would normally take me the amount of time it took to get out of my subdivision, I would be done. Like, by the time I got on um, where we used to live. Where did we live? We lived, we lived off of, I want to say it was Hayes, maybe? Mom's going to be in the comments. Like, that's not where we lived, but I think it was off of Hayes. But whenever I would take Hayes, by the time I got, by the time we, I went through my little cookie cutter subdivision and got to the actual exit of the, of the compound, Make will be done, but I would spend about 0.3 seconds putting on oh to be 21 and done putting on liner. It was a it was very there was listen. I knew very weird talents when I was younger. I knew how to 
how to drive with my knees and stuff. Things I would never tell my sister, things that I would never tell my brother. But I would, I was reckless out here. I mean, no sense. Just enough to like get out of my neighborhood. Never, never too much where I was like on the road being reckless to other drivers. No, I never got that far. It, it, it would scare me. I actually got into like a terrible accident when I was uh, 22, I think. And it was a time where I was like, a stellar driver at the time I wasn't even I didn't even ride the freeway I was um no, I think I was 21 I think I wasn't even riding the freeway back then my mom was scared and told me not to right I, I ride you know the side streets all the way from my house all the way to my college and that took like almost about 45 minutes and there was this big long road in Detroit called Gratiot and it's huge like six lanes long uh six lanes wide and I would just drive it all the way down to my college and I remember getting hit. I got T-boned by this car that was trying to make it across all six lanes to the other side. And I guess I wasn't paying attention. And she T-boned me. So after that, there was no more reckless driving. I, I was terrified for quite some time. Okay. We're going to put on lashes and mascara. And honestly, I don't know if I'm going to do that one on camera because we'll be here all day. <sighs> but I'm going to... Dust all the rest of this off. I don't think I have much on. Honestly. Dust off the bacon. I had a really crazy bake. TBH. My bake was a uh, little minute. Dust off the bacon. Um, finish up my contour. Um, I use a little dough, little dough brush. Not dough, I'm gonna go teardrop brush to do my nose I like my nose don't get me wrong I got my mama nose but it brings the look together please don't come for me I like I like my nose way don't get me wrong I don't crazy contour it just enough to kind of bring the look together that works for me um and I think I'm a little Put a little blush. I don't love hair relationship with blush. I think it's because I haven't found the right shade. I think as soon as I find as soon as I find the right shade that works, um uh that'll be a cosmetics palette. I will start wearing blush a lot more. But mm. and I think about how much um those little like blush uh singles are and stuff, and it's like I'm not paying that much money for for some blush. Put a little pink lipstick on your cheeks and call it as I, aka glossier. <laughs> but um, I have yet to find a blush that I like. Until then, I'll just do a small dab on my cheeks and stuff. Um, highlighter. We're gonna do for highlight. We're gonna do. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna do this. This is um Mac. Glow with it. It's a, it's a little, um, a little too gold for me. It's a little too, uh, not yellow gold, but like a true gold. Mm, I want something a bit more bronzier. It looks bronze in the pan. It's not in real life, but it's pretty though. I also want to get some, those like, um, like iridescent highlights, or is it what I call it, unicorn highlight? I want some of those. Do y'all put some on your clavicle? I like to glow. I like to look like a, to look as shiny as possible. So, I put some on my clavicle, I put some on my baby. I like to look shiny. Not too crazy shiny, but shiny enough. I'm not like, um, Burtman Rock. I'm not putting it in my ears, but I get it. I don't, I don't blame them. So I'm gonna put on my lashes and put on my wig and I'll come back and finish up. Yeah. All right, so lashes are on. Some pretty light joints. This is um the Kiss True Volume. This is um the Ritzy Natural Black ones. Y'all can see that one. They're not crazy. They're not like my lily lashes or anything um so yeah i'm about to put this wig on 
There are very few people in this world who can say they've seen me without my wig on. So right now, count them blessings, you all. Count them blessings. First thing you put on is a cap. For those who are not aware. Okay, I, got, I have hair. I'm not bald-headed or nothing. I have very long hair. I just sometimes don't want to look like me for a couple of hours. All right. So we're putting on our trusty cap. This is not a lace front joint today, so I'm not going to have to, like, glue nothing down. Thank God. I made this wig um, late last night, and um, I wish I could, like, post. I might post the original photos of what it did look like when I just got done making it. And I thought, oh, it looks great. I don't got to do anything else to it. And I sent a picture to... Um, my friends and they were like yo you you gotta do something you're gonna have to like cut that joint <laughs> down it was like much longer um it was just as full but the bottom wasn't so it was kind of like i looked like i was getting ready to perform um pour some sugar on me or something i was definitely giving you 80s um rocker vibe so i had to go on a hacking spree today just to kind of get it this little tapered shape that I wanted um I still want it to be full obviously but I guess just not too full or not too in your face and I kind of made the, the bangs a bit lighter they had to be bangs because it's not a lace front at all so I had to do something in the front um yeah, this is a little different from what I normally do. I normally, um, I do a, you know, long, crazy, silky hair or something. So, it's a little different. I'm actually heading out to dinner tonight with some friends who are in town in California. So, I got to put my dress on and, uh, actually <laughs> be on time, uh, for dinner. Do you guys have a suggestion on preventing creasing? I didn't get my sleep last night, Avi. So I got bags under my eyes. I'm just trying to not have the concealer or powder crease them up. It's kind of annoying when that happens. So if you guys have a suggestion, put it down in the comments. But um, yeah, from 30 minutes ago, 40 minutes ago to now, well, this video is probably gonna be hella long so yeah please like subscribe share with your friends um thank you for you know for staying for the whole thing and uh comment down below subscribe like all the usual things you say at the end of a youtube video i gotta go bye guys